into sight anywhere in world motorsport as the John Day Pace Ute leads this field. The 60th running of the Australian Sprint Car title. Make plenty of noise on the main straight as the field make their way past you. What a sight. What a sight, boys. And the John Day Utes did not disappoint. Every one of them with fireworks on the back. 9,387 of your best friends here at the Speedway tonight. They pace you, pulls in. Pick out your favourite. Wish them well. Here we go out of turn number four. The Aussie title is underway for 2023. So Goodyear leads them down into the TD Granny Flats and Modular Homes turn the first time and he has scooted right away with this one. Luke Dillon's in second place for the moment. Here comes the slide jobs. Madsen and McHugh are right there and also at the second of the Madsons in Kerry Madsen. Kerry Madsen puts one on Lachlan McHugh but while all that's going on if for second, third, fourth and fifth our race leader Jock Goodyear has streeted the field. And Callum Williamson trying to get himself through the field. He's up into uh, fifth spot right now. Callum Williamson on an absolute charge as the man oh. from Geraldton and just managing to get himself past Kerry Madsen. So how about that for a fast start from the local lad out in front. McHugh not far behind. He's got Molino just ahead of him. A lap car as now there's a lap car between the leader and second place. McHugh comes right up behind Ian Madsen as they go into turn number one and two. We've got Brad oh, uh, Maiolo upside down. Maiolo was going backwards went upside down and it's uh, a couple of cars have gone in with collateral damage. Ian Madsen, that's Ian Madsen second. And the battle weary damaged Robbie Farkar who bows out the Aussie title. Have a look at this Knowles. We're going to bring this in to have a look, look at, at just how much damage there yep. is. It's not just Absolutely, it, it's not just bent it, but it creased it in multiple places. I'll explain the corked arm. Uh-huh, and have a look at the way that the side of the full containment seat has been pried open. Lights are out, we're ready to go racing again. So names dropping already. Tate Frost, Robbie Farr, Brad Maiolo on the infield as the Tasmanian Jock Goodyear leads us back to the Opal Finance Main Street. Madsen Ian runs in second, McHugh third. Kerry Madsen makes the move on Dylan for a split second and tucks back in behind the South Australian now. Callum Williamson up in the fifth spot now as they come through to complete a lap. Luke Dylan looks racy here tonight in an action line marking 81. So Goodyear leads down the back straight from Madsen, McHugh, Dylan, and there is Callum Williamson in the three and Kerry Madsen in the two. So Williamson's made his way up to fifth place as they move down the main straight. Kudja continues to circulate very quickly from Madsen in second, McHugh and then Dylan. Oh, that was close. How he got around Madsen that time, I'm not sure. And Veal is now taking on Madsen as well as we complete lap number nine. And he's going to find his way getting past as well as he swings into the Opal Finance front straight. So Veal moves up into sixth spot. Oh. Kerry Madsen almost manages to take him out, coming out of Maddox to turn it to two. It's getting very close between these two. Tyrell will be helping Jamie Bill's course now as the leader comes up the lap traffic as we saw in the early stages. Makes his way towards Trent Peak and then Darren Molino moves up as they make their way through turn three and four to complete another lap. Madsen, Madsen going after him down the bottom here but look who's behind. It's Lockie McHugh in the East Coast Pipelines number seven. So this is where the lap track is going to start to sort people out as Trent Picton goes infield. It's good you're in front, Madsen. That's the Ian Variety and also Lockie McHugh. Well, Lockie McHugh is trying to chase him down as we see Madsen, Madsen slowing. Madsen. Madsen is slowing down the triple and back straight right now and he's brought the yellow lights on. Third. Yep, that battle for third closing a little bit. Dylan and Williamson as they go down the back straight as Milling is getting very Ball close trouble. to the wall. Trouble on turn two. Ball and there's crash. a huge incident there at turn two. It's Hallett and Pride. They both collided. Hallett... A couple of weeks back, he was celebrating the Grand Annual Sprint Car Classic win, beating Sheldon Hordenshell down at Premier Speedway tonight. He climbs out of the Grand Wendy Earhart number five. So Jason Pride is out of the car as we have a look at the replay, just the oh. back end there of Hallett's uh, crash and then just a horrible moment there for Jason Pride. And a quick check in with Jason Pride. You look a little bit more angry than hurt, buddy. Oh, it's just frustrating supposed to be good drivers out there in this field and I don't know what David's doing, he just, you can't pass anyone without driving into them and I feel sorry for Brock, 
he, he's a really good driver, a good racer. It's the last thing I wanted to do, but we just don't need people like David out there. It's just it's frustrating. Australian sprint car title. We go back to green flag racing with 18 on the board. So McHugh to try and mow down Jock Goodger. Where's the first move coming from? It's coming from Jamie Veal trying to get underneath of Callum Williamson who fights back. And now he's got Madsen for company as well. Williamson slides underneath of the 81 of Dylan and moves into third. And Madsen, he dives underneath of Veal and moves into fifth. So plenty of moves all of a sudden as they run, run down the back straight. Goodger still out in front from McHugh and Williamson now to try and mow them down. Almost contact between Madsen and also Jamie Veal a little bit further back as Veal now gets past uh, Stephen uh, gets past uh, Luke Dillon I should say. Down the back straight they go. Jason Kendrick's getting himself involved and he manages to swing past as well and then it's back to Kerry Madsen. John Goodger placed third in Archerfield last season. Is he about to go to the top step in the 60th anniversary Australian Sprint Car title? He's 10 laps away. Margin starts to stretch out a bit now. Goodger, McHugh and Williamson. It's out to three seconds between the top three. They're up as high as you fear to go here at the Motorplex as Goodyear. He looks in control of this one. The speed has been incredible all weekend long in the Goodyear Developments car. McHugh not giving up and rightly so. It'll be our race then who made a mistake coming out of turn two. Oh, and trouble for Corbett. And they've missed him. Yellow lights will come on. The 22 is supreme on the restarts. He certainly is. He just gets away every time. McHugh is there. So too is Williamson. Veal puts another slider on Madsen. This time it works. He goes back to fourth. Madsen back to fifth. And here comes Jason Kendrick. And Callum Williamson nearly sneaks underneath the McHugh as uh, Madsen just hangs on as Kendrick puts a slider on for fifth. Kendrick is going to try his hardest to get up to fifth spot. But Madsen manages to back his way back, a little bit further back, here comes Dumsley and Coyle, and he's got one kilometre left to become the 2023 Australian Sprint Car Champion, he's got Lachlan McHugh trying to chase him down, but he's only got one more to go, Motorplex, we're about to create some history, Jock Goodyear comes into TD Granny Flats and Modular Homes turn one, into the back straight, it is going to be a Tasmania double, the Formula 500 champion from Tasmania, and Jock is your Australian sprint car champion. He takes it out from Lachlan McHugh. Callum Williamson in third. Fourth goes to Jamie Veal and Kerry Madsen back in fifth. Marcus dumps the outstanding finishing six. Through turn number four, up on your feet, plenty of noise. Your new Australian champion, Jock Goodyear, the Tasmanian, picks up the win in 2023. Yeehaw! Scare the photographers a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, off the start line as he gets on top of the wing. Jock Goodyear, you're Australian champion. It's 22 at the moment. It'll be A1 very soon. What a shot. What a shot of him in front of the gold section and this. My guys, um, my family, Uncle Mark, um, my Jace down home, they're all down there watching me. My partner, Hayley, um, the sister, they're all up, everyone down home. Yeah, it's obviously, I don't even know, probably two in the morning down there. So I'm really pumped to give them something for staying awake. So, yeah, big thanks to those guys. They allow me to do what I love and, um, yeah, just really happy to get it done. We'll let you accept the championship ring from Ron Cricky here up on the stage. Your 60th Australian sprint car champion. Just receiving this one from Ron Cricky. Make some noise one more time for Jock Goodyear. One that will be remembered for Jock Goodyear as the champagne flows. Jock Goodyear, he is your new Australian champion in sprint cars.